So we have a word for these people, these people who plan their vacations around where they want to eat. And we call them culinary tourists. And uh, I'm one of them. So Mystery Meats started a couple of years ago, and the idea was, what if we combined a flash mob with a dinner party? What if a bunch of really passionate foodies descended upon a restaurant, and they all had a meal together, and then they just went their own separate ways? And so the concept evolved, and now we've got this social dining group called Mystery Meat. And the twist is, people don't find out where they're going until 24 hours in advance. So you've got to be a really adventurous foodie to go on this. You've got to be really into it. So when we launched Mystery Meat three years ago, we launched it in Boston, and it just sort of took off. Uh, the food bloggers started writing about it, the newspapers, the radio stations, and so now it's growing. It's going across the country. We've held our very first Mystery Meat dinner in Seattle. We've got them going on in San Francisco. We'll do them in St. Louis soon, and eventually we want to go to all 50 states across the country. So along the way, I started the Fine Dining Podcast, and each week I interview a food blogger from a different city, and we talk about their local dining scene, their local culinary scene. The Little Italy Strip in San Diego has some fabulous cuisine. A lot of that has come out of the Denver Boulder area. New York City is known for its street food. Here in Seattle, the biggest thing is farm to table. And I've actually learned a lot doing it. I mean, what's amazed me is the array of different foods that you have available in this country. I mean, you've got everything from the Peking ducks that are in Chinatown in New York City to the 700 food trucks that are up in Portland, Oregon, to the barbecue of Austin, Texas. I mean, it's just amazing how many different types of cuisines that this country has to offer. So I want to show other people how many different cuisines there are from all over the country. So we're launching a culinary tourism conference, an event for people who plan their vacations around food. And we're bringing together uh, food bloggers and travel writers, uh, beer brewers and winemakers, farmers and chefs from all over the country into one place. And the idea is we want to show people how much fun they can have by combining travel and food. Hey, my name is Joe Jones. I'm a total foodie. Um, our determining factor of, of having a vacation is where to eat and what's good to eat. So I definitely would attend a, a food conference um, to see what, what's out there. So the conference is going to happen on Saturday, September 21st, 2013 in Providence, Rhode Island. And we chose Providence because that city was just named the number one culinary destination in the country by Travel and Leisure Magazine. And it's a fantastic city with fantastic restaurants. And so now what I'm doing is I am uh, working on uh, bringing together walking culinary tours and cocktail receptions. We are putting together taste pavilions and group dinners and uh, just bringing together chefs to teach uh, workshops on cuisines of different regions. It's a lot of work, but it's going to be a fantastic event when we're all done with it. Hi, I'm Nock. I write San Jose food blog and I like to travel where there are good eats. I would totally like to attend this Taste Tracker conference. So I've produced a number of events over the years. Uh, I worked in radio for 15 years where I helped produce concerts that involved bands like Linkin Park, The Killers, Aerosmith, uh, and then helped launch the New England Nightclub and Bar Expo a few years ago. Uh, actually have hosted a number of mixology competitions and a few years ago was even issued a uh, citizen citation by the Mayor of Providence for my work. I produced a competition where we had 30 of the best restaurants in the state compete in downtown Providence for a, a fantastic prize package. It was a lot of fun. So I've done a lot of events like this. Hi, I'm Evelyn and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Book a Local. Book a Local is a company that helps travelers and expats meet up with local people over home-cooked meals. Their customers are foodies who love to travel, who are always looking for unique food experiences. And so a food tourism conference like this is exactly what we need. So to make this event happen, uh, we need to raise cash. We need to raise capital. We've got a lot of costs associated with the events. We've got the conference space. We've got the vendors. We've got the insurance, things like that. And so what I'm doing is reaching out to people and asking them to contribute through the Kickstarter campaign and uh, really lend a hand. And we've put together all sorts of great rewards for people who want to donate uh, money to the cause. Uh, so if you want to get involved at any level that you feel comfortable, we've got something for you to really show our sincere thanks for 
all of your support.